the Seahawks uh, releasing eight-time Pro Bowl linebacker Bobby Wagner, a captain on that defense, uh, just a centerpiece for them. What are some top landing spots for him? I mean, look, he's an eight-time All-Pro. Uh, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, in my opinion. So any team would be lucky to have that sort of production and leadership on their team. Uh, places that he's familiar with the scheme, the New York Jets, um, they could use some help there. CJ Moses is there, yeah, but uh, Gerard Davis is a free agent, and they could figure out how to make it work in Robert Sala's scheme that he's familiar with. Uh, the Bengals, I think he'd be an upgraded Jermaine Pratt. Um, they're obviously just coming off a Super Bowl loss, but Jordan Evans, who's a backup there as a free agent, that'd be a team I'd look at. The Cleveland Browns, uh, need his his production, his play in the worst way. Anthony Walker's a free agent. Uh, they've had a hard time stopping the run, so I wouldn't be shocked if Cleveland didn't try to throw a bunch of money at him. Uh, and then you look at Denver and Detroit. Uh, both those teams, Denver in this case, has the cap space. Detroit uh, just could use them overall from a talent perspective, but both those teams have huge holes in the middle of their defense uh, as, as their inside backers are, are free agents. So uh, I think any of those teams would make some sense. But like I said before, uh, Bobby Wagner is one of the best we've seen to do it in the past decade. So any team would be lucky to have his services. It really comes down to what he's looking for next. Is it a payday? Is it a chance to win a Super Bowl? Do we see the Denver Broncos start to assemble a team where we say, all right, they traded for Russell Wilson. They find a way of get, bringing back Von Miller. Now do they sign Bobby Wagner? And you're looking at kind of this, this Super Bowl run and let's go all in uh, during this time period we have where we've got some cap space and we've got the Broncos now bringing Russell Wilson. That would be an interesting strategy. Brady Quinn, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you very soon there. Uh, speaking of free agents, tomorrow we're going to get Pete Briscoe's list of his top five free agents. There you see them now, the full 100 is going to be released tomorrow. There are some surprises on it, so make sure to watch out for that list on CBSSports.com. We'll talk to Pete about it right here on HQ. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.